In recent videos, we looked at how teams create chances and score goals. In this part, we're going to look at how teams have certain def defensive errors and what could be improved. We're going to go at uh, look at example number one during set pieces. Normally, Bangalore is very good in set pieces. We know that. But what we need to look into here is that there are basically eight players in front of the ball. The setup is great, but there's also a risk to it. That means because of those players are here, that means this area in front of it is open and very um, yeah, vulnerable to have a counter attack. Now, the plan, of course, here is that somebody comes running inside this area and they play a back pass. But in this case, Kerala Blasters, they anticipated this. And I think it's Gary Hooper who quickly came in front and intercepts the ball. So what do we get on that side? Uh, sorry, where, uh, of course, the, uh, this player is uh, now eliminated and the counter starts uh, taking place. Now, this is a crucial point within this sequence. The midfielder here from Bangaluru, he needs to, and this is this is quality of anticipating, quick thinking. He needs to quickly, in one view, in one split second, anticipate that in this case here on this side, Ashik, he is the fastest almost probably from all the players on the field. So what needs to happen is that he forces the player on the ball to come to this side, because then you have the most chance. Defending is nothing more than elim eliminating options of the opponent. And this you have to see within a quick, yeah, within a split second. That's the quality of, uh, that you can define a player of. So that is not happening. He steps in, the ball goes to the side. And yeah, KP, uh, Rahul KP is very fast. And I said it before, and a tremendous talent who, if he shoots on the goal out of 10 times, probably eight times it will be on the goal and he scored the goal. We're going to go to example number two. It's called rest defense. That means while you're attacking, what do you leave behind? You see here uh, the ball uh, on the right side. But what we want to look into is here the defender of Kerala Blasters is, is went into the midfield. And basically here the midfielder, uh, Jixon, who dropped into the defender's uh, position. This is something to keep in mind for later. So... We have the ball here on the right side, where Prashant has the ball, he's looking for options. You see the uh, defensive lineup of Bangaluru, so they're trying to stay compact. Uh, what is important here now, that the defender from Kerala start dropping off already. While he's basically responsible here for uh, Dimas, that if you lose the ball, if he stays in the midfield, he should mark Dimas. But the defender is dropping off. So that means in this case, here, um, Prashant sets up a 1-2. Ball is going forward. That means also he's opening up this space for the counter-attack. That should could be fine as long as from the back you make sure you defense forward. So this 1-2 is taking place. Dimas is completely free while I, because I said the defender stepped back and Jackson was, Jackson was in, in his position. So you should perfectly uh, if you want to do it perfectly the defender should have stayed here that if you lose the ball you right away keep pressure on the ball in this case the, the defender of Kerala I call that the rest defense that is not happening so the attack takes place and what you see now from this shot here you see it here in the back here where Dimas is completely free I pointed him out because in, in, in that view and nine out of ten times when you lose the ball the ball will end up in that position so here they're setting up the 1-2. Basically, I never ever advise to start a uh, combination or a, play a square pass because if it's intercepted, right away you get a counterattack. That ball is getting intercepted. And what do you get? That the ball right away will end up with Dimas, who we said that the defender uh, should be there. And he switched with Jixon and Jixon is still too far. So there's no pressure on the ball. So this is the outlet for, for the counter. In this action, of course, because it's not moving, it looks a bit weird, but Dimas is, is already checking, like who is going forward and where is the counter attack taking place on the side where Prashant left 
Uh, Jixon, as I said, is stepping back because he can't uh, put pressure on the ball anymore. And the ball is going into this area where Prashant left. And the striker um, gets the ball uh, into this area. He's going forward. This is in the first second of the first half. And then terrible defending here happening. And this creates the penalty. So this is a uh, perfect example of you are attacking. And then small, small details make the difference in not um, organizing your rest defense. Example number three. I call them responsibilities when you line up formation versus formation. Now, what is key here is that you see here the three midfielders of uh, Jamshedpur. Now, the ball, uh, or this is the right wing back of Jack. Uh, Jamshedpur and this is the right winger of Jamshedpur and that is Jackie Chan. Now what is important is that the midfielder number seven he stepped in but he should basically stay here. He should stay with uh, with Bart and then the right winger and the right wing back they need to deal with those two players who are uh, yeah on the sideline. So what we need to take care of now is Bart Okbeetje uh, because the number seven he stepped into the side. And Bartok Beetje is basically free. In this picture, how I show it, that's how it should be lined up. But the picture is like this. So that combination on the side takes place. And here Jackie Chan is not doing anything. It's a three against two, but he's not doing anything. The second thing is here that uh, Eze, the center back, is stepping out. And he does that a lot, by the way. He's uh, defending the winger. So he needs to follow him. So what you see here now is that Eze, he's stepping in even towards the ball. He's leaving uh, Bippen, is it, I think, leaving free and he should stay with him. But he steps in. So what does that for have for consequences? That Monroy has to, uh, he's now defending Ogbeetje, also starts stepping in. And that means in this case, even the left midfielder and uh, Monroy who is going to the ball and the left midfielder who should come inside. Uh, they are not doing this and you get Ogbeetje completely free and he finishes it off. This all has to do with responsibilities. With Jamshedpur, the midfield are always, in my opinion, tracking back, not properly. And in this case, the starting point where I said the midfielder steps out to the side, creates confusion. Uh, and that why Bart Ogbeetje basically became free. This is all about responsibilities. And you see it here, Bart scored the goal. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight of defensive errors. One, during a set piece. Two, when you attack, what do you leave behind? And three, responsibilities. How do our, how are formations lined up towards each other? And who is responsible for who?